Hello and welcome to this episode of Flash Attack Reviews. I am your host, the Frank Minion. Today we got for you Arcas Behind the Dark. I don't know if that's Arcus or Arcas, but I'm sticking with Arcas. By Fanot. Again, don't know if I'm pronouncing right, but that's what I think. Arcas is an action roleplay game like Zelda. You fight monsters, train your hero, learn skills, search for better weapons and equipment, compose, compose new items, and much more. You got 18 different maps to discover in this game, 25 quests to accomplish, 21 battle skills to learn, more than 10 types of monsters to kill, more than 100 weapons and gear to choose, and much, much more. This game is amazing when it comes to detail and quantity. Two really cool things in this game is, one, it's in seven languages, which is pretty cool for people across seas or don't speak English, which is really cool. Another cool thing is, while you play the while the game is loading, you get to play a mini game. Like, right here, I'm clicking them. Of course, it's not extreme, but it's fun to take the time by. So we'll go to the audio. The audio is great. The music has a great adventure tone to it. It really sets the mood of the game. Another good thing is everything you do makes a good sound effect. When you attack, when you jump, and when you use your special attacks. All of those make really cool noises which is great next for the graphics two out of two let's just go with great graphics and I'll stick it to that for right now as for the fun three out of three stars this is a fun fun game this is a game I would not think twice about buying if it was a like five ten dollar game you buy online which is the quality of it I would consider buying it this really has the potential to be a really, really, really good game. As with what's said in the intro, all that stuff up front, the gear, the skills, and everything, it keeps you wanting to play. keeps you wanting to beat that quest, which you get two or three quests or more at the same time. So if you're out and you spot one, you can do it while out doing another, which is great. Again, great aspects. As for the difficulty, it's not too difficult, not too hard. It's perfect challenge. I did have to restart a couple times, but what do you do with restarting? Well, I'll take that back. It's not restart. You get to respawn at your last checkpoint, and it does take some of your experience and money away, but it's fine. It does... It doesn't get you wanting to kill the game, which is another great factor, as you, as if you haven't found out yet, I really like this game. The length, I know I'm going to kill me for saying this, but it's too long for a Flash game. I love it, but this is Armor Games. I know it's on other sites, but I base mine off Armor Games. They're quick games that you can beat fast that you're bored and want to play through not something that takes a really long time and this one does take a good good amount of time so we gave it a one out of two stars out of that it kills me saying that but we do gotta cut points where they need to be cut it ends us with nine out of ten stars that's a great achievement for this game it is our first 9 out of 10 we have given here on Flash Attack Reviews. I did give it a 10 out of 10 originally, but that it, this is not a 10 out of 10 game. As much as I love it, it's not. I would go with it's a 9 out of 10 game, and that's what we're sticking with here on this game. Thank you everyone, and have a good night.